Just before we take our first questions, a reminder of our telephone numbers, country code 202, numbers 38555-248 or 249, or you can send us an email, ask at huda.tv. Doctor, the first question is from Wafa from the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, and she's making mention of a hadith which mentions that women are mostly the dwellers of the hellfire, and she's asking why. بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والعاقبة للمتقين ولا عدوان إلا على الظالمين I praise Allah alone and I send the best peace and salutation upon his most beloved prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم Yes indeed there is a hadith uh, narrated from different ways and it's a sound hadith in which the, the prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم got to take a look at the fire of hell and he uh, once after giving the khutbah uh, on one of the Eid days he said, Ya ma'ashar al-nisa, tasaddaqna. He addressed women and he said, uh, Give in a charity and give in abundance, in a charity. Uh, since I have seen you, the majority of the dwellers of fire. Why? The Prophet ﷺ explained for two reasons. Yuksirna al-la'n wa yakfurna al-ashir. He said, because they curse a lot. And yakfurna al-ashir, the word kufr or kufran wal ashir is taken from kufr which is denial or disbelief yakfurn they asked the prophet sallallahu alaihi how do they disbelieve he said yakfurn al ashir in a in a sense that the wife uh, her husband might be treating her very well for a decade for two mm -hmm. and if one he uh, does something wrong she would only remember the bad events and the wrong things and she would say that I have never seen a good day with you and so on. This is very common and it happened a lot with the, with women. But it doesn't mean that the, the vast majority of hell are of women. They are worse than men or men are superior to them in that sense because mm -hmm. we do for Ad have a, a sound hadith in which the, the Prophet wasallam said that the, the, the share of uh, one of the dwellers of heaven, of the men, mm -hmm. will be the minimum, will have zawjain, will have two spouses, two wives, in mm -hmm. addition to al hurul ayn. This is something we're addressing only Muslims with, because if you don't believe in the unseen, it would not really, uh, really help you a lot. Mm -hmm. But as Muslims, as uh, believers in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, in the day of judgment, in the hereafter, in heaven and hell, that we were informed that there is something called al hurul Ain, the purified women in heaven for the dwellers of uh, heaven. So the Prophet ﷺ said that each one of us besides al hurul Ain will have awwal uh, zumratin yadkhulun al-jannah, the first uh, group of men who would enter heaven, would have each two wives of humans, human beings, of women of this life. So that indicates that also women in heaven would also outnumber men. Mm -hmm. And that is due to the fact that women in general are outnumbering men. Mm -hmm. So no one should really uh, take this hadith and criticize women and say, look, the Prophet ﷺ is saying you're inferior, you guys are sinners. Fi uh, Surat Yusuf, Imra'atul Aziz says, وَمَا أُبَرِّئُ نَفْسِ إِنَّ النَّفْسَ لَأَمَّرَةٌ بِسُوءِ إِلَّا مَا رَحِمْ رَبِّي One self in general, whether male or a female, men or women, sometimes are inclined into sins and evil. This is a human nature, except those whom Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would have mercy uh, on them. And that's why Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam asked yes. women to make up for this shortcoming, uh, for maybe forgetting a lot, for uh, cursing a lot to make up by giving in a charity. Mm -hmm. And that's another beautiful indication that the act of charity nullifies sins and intercedes for the person on the day of judgment. So it is not only limited to women to give in a charity. It is for every Muslim to give in a charity in order to wipe out his or her sins and to draw nearer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, especially during this blessed uh, month of Ramadan.